let's talk about an adjustment I think the Pistons should make at least till Boyanovic get back and maybe when Boyanovic get back, especially when Monty Morris get back. Um, let's talk about it. I think they should throw Marcus Sasser in the starting lineup. Now, I know they trying to get defense in that lineup. Um, my thing is, Isaiah Stewart played pretty well in the second half of the Miami game. So, defensively and offensively, if Stewart can do that consistently, I don't really have an issue with him being a power forward. But that's the question. Can he play like that consistently? And that's the question for K. Cunningham, you know, can he consistently do what he did night in, night out versus Miami? You know, but until, until at least Boyanovich get back, I think Marcus Sasser is the answer in the starting lineup, and I'm going to tell you why. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Now, Marcus Sasser is a good defender. He's a, He had a uh, reputation in college for being a good defender. Now, Killian Hayes is a really good defender, but he don't give you no shot-making ability, and that's what Boyanovich gave you. Boyanovich gave you the ability to make shots and space the floor and gave K. Cunningham another aggressive score and shooter. Outside of that, Doran ain't that, Stewart ain't that, and um, a short not that, All right? So K. Cunningham had to be the aggressive and, and the facilitator, and I, I like putting a lot on this play. But, you know, in order to give him easier shots and giving him more uh, give him more of a safety valve and more space on the floor, you're going to need Bojan Bojanovic to be in that lineup. And that's a good one-two punch. And every, everybody else is just assisting them cutting to the basket and all that. I love Killian and Kay Cunningham getting the 10 to 15 foot feet and making them shots and not settling for a bunch of three-point shots. That's what I, I, I that's one of the things I like the most about the Detroit Pistons uh, tonight. And I knew Monty was going to bring it, and Monty wasn't going to allow them to settle for a bunch of three-point shots. Because you've seen in Phoenix, that's what they did. Took a lot of tools, and people criticized them for taking tools because the analytics says not a good shot. No, the closer you are to the basket, you know, the closer you are to the basket, the higher percentage you got to make in the shot. You don't have to live and die by threes. You can beat guys with twos because you're getting the closer, you're getting the closer, you know, higher percentage shots, especially when you drive into the rim. But I just think Sasser's ability to put the ball on the floor, to put the, to put the ball on the floor, get his own shot, catch and shoot. You just need that next guy out there. And Alec Burke is just really not that, you know, he's not as good as Sasser. Um, Jay and Ivy don't give you the shoot. And right now, I don't know what the hell going on with Dog. Ever since the first game of Summer League, it seemed like he been reckless and, you know, he been very, very reckless and out of control, all right? So you can't really count on him, even though he shot the ball pretty well in a few preseason games. So, I mean, but Sasser, I believe, is the answer, you know? And he may be the answer when Boyanovic come back. Where, you know, if he's playing really well in that starting lineup with Kay Cunningham, I think you we got Kay Sasha in the backward of short at the three and Boyanovic at the four. And what Boyanovic don't give a rebound and a short can make up for that. And that's the lineup that, you know, if Sasser worked in the starting lineup, then you probably want to throw Boyanovic in there to see if Sasser and Boyanovic in that in that lineup work. So, like I said before, I think Sasser is the adjustment that needs to happen. You know, when you go out there, you throw three guys, four, three, four guys that's offensively challenged from a perimeter standpoint, a short, Stewart, Dern, and Hayes. I mean, you just ask him for K. Cunningham to carry the scoring load. Then you ask for him to facilitate. So you have to give him that safety valve out there, somebody that can go out there and get a bucket. Somebody that can catch and shoot. And Killian Hayes missed a whole bunch of six three-pointers on it versus Miami. Six. Marcus Sasser seemed to be instant offense. He seemed to be made to come off the bench as a spark plug. But right now, I think you got to put him in the starting lineup to get him some, get him some, some versatility offensively in that starting lineup. And if you got to play starting minutes, so be it. You're going to have to look to Jay and Ivy and clear the path for him anyway and say, here you go. But he got to take care of that basketball a lot better. You know? And, you know, I might have a hunch that he might be trying to play his way out of Detroit. And, hey, I feel him. Hard to tell somebody who was second in, score, second in rookie scoring to come off the bench and take a reserve role. But then again, he got to look at her. 
himself and you're not taking care of the basketball and you're not playing within your truth. You ain't learned to kind of control yourself and control how reckless you are. And Sasser is just a better offensive fit shooting the ball for what they need in that lineup. Now, could Ivy work in the starting line? Absolutely. But what he got to realize is he got to protect the ball a lot better. He got to look to be Dwayne Wade. Get downhill, finish at the rim strong, 10 to 15 foot, and if the three-pointer presents itself, you take it. I guarantee you he wouldn't have went 0 for 6 from three-pointer like Killian Hayes, or he probably would have had more turn way more turnover. So it's an adjustment coming off the bench. It's an adjustment, you know, when you was controlling, when you was controlling everything last year with the rock. It's an adjustment going from controlling the rock to thinking you, you and Cade is gonna do something together to coming off the bench with the second unit. And you're not even the star of the second unit. I mean, think about Wiseman. You know, mentally, where Wiseman is at with it. This is why you don't oversaturate. You don't oversaturate your roster with a lot of young guys. Because all you do is hurt feelings. You hurt potential. You hurt confidence. That's all you do. When a veteran beating you out, you know it's just a matter of time and you learning. You ain't gonna learn too much from another young player. They can say iron sharp and iron, but it ain't the iron you want to be sharper than the iron because you're mentally getting destroyed. But I think Sasser is the guy, long story short, that should be in there at least temporary until Brianna Beach get back. Who knows? It could be a month. It could be longer than a month. You know, he's a flat out scorer. And another flat out scorer who don't give you a huge drop off defensively. The drop off defensively from Sasser to Hayes and the offensive drop off from Hayes to Sasser. Or the, the upgrade from Hayes, it, 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 it's, it's too great. Hey, Sasser is not as, as a good defender as Hayes, but he's not a bad one either. He's a really good defender. Hayes is a really shitty offensive player. Sasser is the one that excel at it. It's common sense. And they want to hang their hat on defense, but you got to score some points. You got to have some some shooting in that lineup, and that's just the God honest truth, man. So, you know, I mean, my, maybe Monty just want to see why I work, but if I make an adjustment and I want to win, and be a play-in team and all that type of stuff. I'm gonna go ahead. And, I'm gonna go ahead and throw Sasser in there, throw a little bit of offensive flavor in there. That's just my opinion on it. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Check out Detroit Pistons Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notification. Check out Detroit Pistons Talk playlist for more videos like this. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Or just Spotify and Anchor, I'm sorry. Check out my main channel right here on YouTube, Good Fella TV. Check out my new channel, Free Game 89, FR33 Game 89. That link's inside the link tree as well, too. Peace.